In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how to use Rightsoft's new Supply and Return Register assignment tool. As it has always been the case, each supply grill in Wright Suite Universal is assigned to a particular return grill. However, up until now, the only way to make an adjustment to that assignment has been to manually make changes to Auto RB Assignment and manually type in the return branch name desired. And the only way to see what that assignment was was to right click and view the property sheet for a supply grill. Now all you have to do is click on a return and Wright Suite Universal using a bold notation will demonstrate what supplies are assigned to what returns. As you click a return grill, it has to be a return grill now, but when you click a return grill each supply assigned to that will automatically light up. Now when assigning main returns Right Suite Universal usually does a pretty good job. However, if I should have an individual return, a return designed to pull back air from a particular room or rooms, it can be convenient to make these reassignments. Let's say this return here in my family room should only be pulling back air from the supply grills in this family room. First, we have to identify the problem. The problem is not coming from inside the family room. These two supply registers are properly assigned to that return. The problem is here. These two supply registers in the laundry and bathroom are also assigned to that return, when in reality I would prefer them assigned to this return here. To make that assignment, rather than manually making adjustments to a property sheet, simply select the return and the supplies together that you would like to be assigned. So if I want these two supply grills assigned to that return, I could use the shift key to group them together and find my supply and return assignment button, this S plus R designation here. Click that and now they're instantly reassigned. A cool thing about this tool is that since it specifically refers to registers, unlike other tools, you can group other objects in without negatively affecting the design process. For instance, if I used a pointer to draw a box around this entire area here, now I would select my supply and return grills. However, I'd also have some CFM selected, I have my air handler selected, uh, I might even have a wall or a window or a door selected. The program, however, knows that I'm really only going to be concerned with registers when I click on this icon. And so despite the fact that I have all these other extra things selected, when I hit Supply plus Return, boom, reassigned. This can make selecting that group of objects much easier, because you don't have to worry about accidentally selecting something like a duct or duct notation and getting in the way. So again, to recap, click on a return grill to see what supplies are assigned to it. To reassign a supply grill that's improperly assigned, or a supply grill you don't want assigned to a particular return, Group it together with the return you do want it assigned with, and hit the Supply Return Assignment icon here. Group them together, and assign them. That concludes our tutorial on the Supply Return Assignment tool. Thank you for your time, and have a good day.